Well, I went into politics because I really believed that I, I could make a difference uh, for families, for uh, the people of Palau. I was not happy with was what I was seeing in the last government. Um, so when the uh, election took place in 2012, we have four-year terms, I decided to, to run because I really believed that I could uh, make a difference for the people of Palau and do, do something good for, for families. Some of the male uh, senators uh, thought that I, I could contribute a lot to the country and that if I join the politics, they'll help me uh, with the campaign and help me uh, go into politics. So, and they really challenged me to contribute to the development of the country and that was the only way I can really do it. So, I think that's what attracted me to the politics. Well, we've had a constitutional government for the past 30 years. And as you know, I, I, I want to call it the old boys network. I think uh, most of the decisions are being done. We don't have golf courses. So it's being done in the coffee shops. So women being the minority, I think we do not get to be part of the decision making process. I think that's a big challenge uh, for me as a woman, one of three women in the Senate. Um. Biggest challenge for me is um, it's like a men's world. It's a different uh, kind of uh, game. Uh, they're very. Uh, they've been in politics for a long time, and and they really determine the the rules of the game. So, as a woman, I have to learn how to to be a part of that and uh, be a part of the game, and how to win, even though. Um, I'm so new to it and sometimes I feel intimidated. Palauan women are very strong women. Uh, Palauan women in our culture appoint a chief of a clan. So the, what we've been hearing from the men uh, MPs when I, uh, last year when we started this organization called women empowerment in Balad to get more women to stand for elections. Their comments to me uh, simply, don't you already have enough power under a traditional system? Why do you want to be in politics? And so my answer has always been, it's a democratic style of government. It's a representation type of government. So if there are 50% or more women in Palau, that should be reflected in the government, in this democratic elected elected government. In our society, women are very strong. We, the women uh, members of the clan, appoint who's going to be the chief. The women support the chief and, and, and the people who um, are leaders in our community. But our role is to appoint. We never stand up and say, I'm going to be going into the, in the leadership position. So. But I think of the most important thing for me is the networking. It's sitting down with movement. It's seeing that I'm not struggling in this alone. It was very hard for me. I've been in office for one year now. The first year was, was very challenging. And it was so, uh, I was relieved to discover that they're also going through the same type of uh, sacrifices, times away from families. That for me was very important. The, face-to-face -face networking uh, discussions. Highlight for me so far is to see a very different political process uh, taking place. That is the, the question time. I saw the minister and the government answer to the people directly. I mean, they were not prepared. They had to be really what they are and who they are. And I can really see that honesty coming out of them. So that was uh, very good. But I saw a lot of women MPs as well who are doing well. They've learned to, to deal with the, the men's uh, world and they're very strong and very articulate. So I've learned a lot from the, the women MPs and everybody we met. Minister Bishop was very supportive of our trip here, of the, the work in the Pacific area. Uh, I'm 
it was a wonderful meeting. She asked us what she could do to help us along, and uh, we're hoping that she'll be able to attend the uh, Pacific Islands Forum in Palau, which is happening in July of this year. Uh, so we're hoping to see her. Yes, I did. I met her. She's a very strong woman, and I really admire her. And she seems committed to the Pacific and uh, wanted to continue the exchange we have so we can learn something from her. I was also got a chance to be with Senator Urquhart uh, in Tasmania, went to her electorate office, uh, saw some of the things that she's doing. So I can see that they're very busy, not only during sitting, but even when they're not uh, uh, sitting, they're out there in their community supporting their communities. Uh, a chance to talk with Dr. Stone, to talk about her, her community uh, and, and the problems that they're, they're facing. So yes, it was, it's been an eye-opener uh, for women uh, MPs here in Australia. Well, what I learned from the women MPs here is when you break new grounds, you have to be exceptional. You have to work really hard. So I think we got into, we got elected because we worked hard and we, uh, two of us, Senator Senior and I are uh, well-educated women. We work hard, we've done something in the community to make people trust that there's something we can contribute and that's why they voted for us.